YouTube Bumblebee Storyteller here and uh, I have a bit of a interesting slash different uh, video for you guys today. So as probably a lot of you guys know, when this video is coming up, it's probably two days before Christmas. I'm planning on posting this Wednesday. So uh, two days before Christmas and if you don't celebrate Christmas, I'm sorry, happy holidays. But uh, I was kind of thinking, I haven't done many Christmassy themed episodes. I, I mean, I've been wearing my Santa hat all throughout December, but I think I'm ready to do one. But it's not entirely Christmassy. Uh, when I think of Christmas, I think of winter, I think of snow, uh, mostly snow and like cold weather. So I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should do something like that, like something kind of related to that. And I was like, oh, what if I make a Sims that's like, like Christmas or, or like winter? And I was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. But so many people have done that before. So I, what I've decided to do is I'm going to attempt to create Princess Yue from Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, if you haven't seen Avatar The Last Airbender, you're probably not gonna know anything about her, but I'll try not to spoil um, anything, but please watch it. Um, I'm currently re-watching it with my mom and she seems to really like it so far. So I was like, you know what? When I think of like cold and winter and like Avatar, those are two very different things but mixed together. I think of Princess Yue because you know she lives in the Southern Water Tribe and there's snow everywhere and she has like white hair and like the big fur coat so I was like you know what this is a good bridge uh, between like not a Christmassy video but still like winter and December themed so that's what we're gonna do so let me fix up my webcam and we'll head into The Sims. Welcome to The Sims 4, everybody. So, uh, what I'm first gonna do real quickly is I am going to quickly randomize the sim to get to a sim that I think is pretty close to Princess Yue. So, I'm thinking like pale skin and... You know what? That's a pretty good start. We'll go with her. She's kind of all over the place, but it's okay. We can fix her, I believe. Oh, nope. Uh, I'm going to quickly pull up a reference of uh, Princess Yue so that I have something to kind of go on. The thing about Princess Yue is that she is just so frick frack lack and pretty. I absolutely love her design, so I'm really hoping we do her justice. So first off, let's write her name. Uh, Princess... Yue. Um, I thought it was spelled different, but I guess not. I thought it was like, uh, Y-A-I, but bleh, bleh, I don't know. All right. And second thing is that I want to take off my headphones so I don't get, so my ears don't start hurting. So let's figure out her, her voice. I think that's pretty close. All right. And let's get into changing her features. Let me look at a reference real quick. In my mind, Princess Yue has like a very soft, like a very soft, like petite, pretty face. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to try to go for. Um, I'm not going to be, cause uh, there's an image down here, which is like the live action of Princess Yue, but we don't talk about that movie. I've I think I've seen it once, but everyone says that it's just so bad. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to fight with, I'm not going to fight with them. So let's, okay. I have a pretty solid idea. And she has like the beautiful, like white hair. God, it's, I love Princess Yue so much. She's so pretty. And I also feel like I really just need to get rid or get a mod uh, the EA eyelash remover mod, because this, I hate this so much. Um, let's see. Uh, so in my head, I thought she was super pale, but because, uh, Avatar takes place in like a very beautiful, like comes from like a lot of Eastern culture, please for the love of God, don't sound like an idiot and get this right. But like places like Japan and Korea and China and like all those very beautiful places and they don't have, I don't believe like pale skin is very, you know, normal there. I hope I'm not sounding like a horrible human being. So um, going off of her skin in the movie, it's 
it's, or in the movie, in the show, it's kind of, it's kind of like this. So I'm going to very slightly, uh, lighten it a little. Alright, so that's pretty good. Now, I gotta get rid of these eyes, they drive me nuts. She has very big cartoony eyes, and I think what I'm gonna do is I want to find not those eyes but slightly more like almond shaped eyes and maybe kind of play with that I really hope I'm not offending anyone I'm just uh, I'm just really trying to like I hope I'm trying I look like I'm trying to be considerate and I'm like really trying to think this through but um let's go with these ones and then I can shape them and also girl I need to get rid of change your eyebrows just like something a bit less like that and then she has so obviously because it's a cartoon she has such big big eyes so I think I'm going to make them slightly bigger um a lot of you guys don't know this but I play the sims a lot um in like my spare time so I've kind of gotten a bit um, better at creating sims. Um, I don't usually reuse like references for sims though, but, uh, let's, let's see how it goes. She has very heavy pointy corners near out here on her eyes. So let's see if I can do that. I like, I like the kind of like that because it, she, in my mind, Princess Yue is very, well, it shows that she's incredibly mature, like, if you've seen the show. Um, so I kind of like giving her a more serene and, like, regal look. Let's go with that, and I'm going to make them... I don't want to make them too big. This is slightly... supposed to be slightly realistic. Um, so, uh, she has really big, like, irises, too, but these ones are already pretty big. I'll just make them a bit bigger. She's kind of... She's kind of all bug-eyed now, but hopefully with some custom eyes, which I'm going to do. Let me find a good picture of her. She has very blue eyes, like, especially when, especially, like, later in the arc with her, they get even bluer, but I want to go with the kind of grayish pretty, pretty blue eyes that she has, and I believe I have something like that. You know, I think I'm gonna go with these ones because they look very, very pretty. I might change them later. Also, my girl needs skin details like crazy. Um, I feel like she would have such big pretty eyelashes and oh, if I could do like white eyelashes somehow, but I don't think I have. Oh, I do. I was kind of thinking because she has white hair, but that does look a tad bit strange. I should really focus on her face because this isn't looking like her at all. She has a very long pointed face, like a oval, a round oval that comes to a point at her chin. And she has very petite lips. She's, God, Princess Yue is so beautiful. I'm a little bit gay for her, not gonna lie. Oh man, that already, that already did a lot. Um, I feel like I need to do her cheeks so that, like, do different cheeks. Yeah, like this, so they, I feel like she still has very s slightly stronger cheekbones, but she has very fullish cheeks, and then, yes, I found an image with a side profile, which, she's crying in it, but you know, it's fine. We'll, we'll just ignore that. Let's see. She has... Her eyes are set into her face, um, and her eyebrows are, yes, okay. Let me, let me play with this for a little bit. they don't really have like bridges on their noses 
but like um because her and they don't really have like full noses it's kind of just like two dots and a shadow but i'm going to assume she has a very a very little nose just a little one a very petite nose and i already know like looking at the images she has quite small lips lovely small lips but still quite small because she has quite a lot of real estate on her chin. I think this is kind of what I'm gonna stick with for now. And then I'm going to do some skin detail. She has very, well, because she's a cartoon character, but she has very um, smooth skin. Um, I don't, see, I love these skins, but also I really dislike them. And I don't want to give her a really heavy lid. See how those like change her lids? Not a big fan of that. Cause in the cartoon she doesn't have very heavy lids. She might even be she might even be monolidded, which explains it a lot. So in that case I would probably have to change her eyes to a monolidded like this one. So here, let me play with these a bit. liked her old eyes better not gonna lie but I kind of want to stick with her like monolidedness because in the cartoon she doesn't have heavy eyelids so let's let's just let's just vibe with that for a bit and then I have to really make sure that whatever skin details I give her don't do that like give her lid I don't know if I have any who that don't do that. A lot of them do it. I think I have only like one uh, skin detail that doesn't do that. And I think it's this one. It gives her a little bit of a lid, but it keeps it very monolidded. And this one does have a lot of swatches. So yeah, it's starting to disappear with some of them. I don't like the super grainy textured ones. Those kind of... Eh, they kind of weird me out a little. They don't look as nice. Um, I think, I think that one's a good one. Oh, she's, okay, she's looking pretty cute right now. Uh, and then let's see. I want to give her a big, beautiful lashes, but she kind of has very small, like, pretty ones. So I'm kind of, well, those aren't small, are they? Um, I could give her some of these ones. Oh my god, she's so pretty. She's looking really good right now. Uh, next I need to fix her body because this is definitely, it's hard to see her body because she wears a really big coat over it. Um, don't think you, we've ever actually like seen uh, her body in like a full shot. Like maybe once. She has a very she has um like a, even more of an hourglass figure than katara and i'd like to imagine she's a bit more plumper because in like the cold they like need the extra insulation kind of like me um so let's give her some nice pretty hips and i feel like she's just got a big old badonkadon not too big subtly big also, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a part where you can make the chest rise bigger or like make it cave in on itself. It's kind of, that's kind of concerning. Okay, maybe the, the booty's a tad bit distracting. And then I feel like she has some nice, nice tatas. Not, not too big. Like I want to give her a very like curvaceous plump body but not too curvaceous and not too plump. Might even give her a little bit more of a stomach. Yeah, I like that. This might not be very accurate to a lot of people but I I kind of like it. Okay, so it doesn't look like she wears something like she doesn't like wear makeup. What I might do is I might give her 
like a little bit of eyeliner just to accentuate um, like the look of her eyes. So I don't need a super heavy one. Like I don't think I need like a full cat eye, but something, something kind of soft. Um, oh yeah, this is the first time using like the slidery things too. I should have said that, but I was too busy. Um, see something kind of like this, but without the lower lashes or that inner bit. Uh, I think this one does that. Yeah, it doesn't go all the way to the corner of her eye. This is like my favorite eyeliner that I like to use right here. But let's let's just go let's go with that. I think I'm going to take the opacity just down a little bit. I'm surprised this stuff this stuff doesn't work well on custom content, but it, it does work. Yeah, that's a good one. Cool. She's looking so pretty. Okay. Now, I couldn't, I tried looking it up, but I couldn't find like CC for her hair or like her clothes or anything, which is really sad because there is not much um, CC for this kind of thing. And because people have such a like, at least like avatar is a really big fandom so you'd think that they a lot of people would want like to play with them in the sims and whatnot but you know say lovey i was kind of thinking because if you look at her hair she has this big kind of loop and then like braids down the front of her face she does have so she has super duper long hair um so i might try to play with that i think she has like uh, a shaved back a little bit or like very short hair so I'm um, something I feel like with a top bun and obviously it's going to be white or more of a silvery or white oh my god god she's really fucking pretty uh let's focus on your on her um let's focus on her eyebrows she has like like most of them very cartoony eyebrows but I don't mind giving her maybe not some with slits <laughs> as I continue to press ones but like very um uh realistic eyebrows oh don't I don't want to make her look angry uh I kind of want her stop looking so angry girl oh, god I can't make her not look angry she has a very sweet look and expression. So I want to definitely, definitely get hold of that. Oh my. F I'm not gay, but damn is she. I'm not completely straight. That's all I'm saying. I'm not completely straight. And this girl right here is proving it. Breathe, be, <laughs> wow, she is really fucking pretty. <laughs> uh, there was one hair that I was kind of looking at. Um, it's kind of a crazy hairdo, but her hairdo is kind of crazy. Uh, let me see if I can find it again. Uh, here it is it's this one and so it kind of has like the really tall bun and then it does have the front bits so you know it kind of works i do I, the more i look at it the top looks less cc and more like clay texture you know so uh, the other one was this one but uh it clips with her boobs no i'm also not sure if i like the color options of these that really, like, white was really, really pretty. Um, Anto, don't fail me now. I love Anto hair. And Wings is pretty good, too. But, God, she's so pretty. Oh, I would love to give her that, but that's not exactly correct. That's kind of like, um her special hair when she does the special thing. I'm really trying not to spoil it here. I was also, I also have this one, but like, I, it has a lot of like texturing to it. That is really pretty though. So, you know what, I love, this is a cute hair, but 
I really, really like this one on her. It's definitely not as long as her hair, and it's nowhere near similar, but I feel like this is a really good option. Oh, her ears need to come out a little bit more, just to make the clipping not as obvious, which is okay. She still looks cute. Um, I think, I wonder how this would look if I gave her a hairline. I don't mind that. That's really pretty. Yeah, sure, we'll go with, with that. Okay, let's do her outfit. She looks so pretty. I don't think she's like exactly like Princess Yue, but that's okay. Ooh, ooh, I just noticed something. Her lips are like really soft pink, and I really want to give her, I want to give her that. I think that is gonna work for her lips. She's so pretty. Okay, now we're moving on to her clothes. Uh, I just downloaded something because she wears a big blue like fur coat dress. So I went looking for something and I found some interesting things that just might work. So I found this, which is cute. And it does come, it does come in blue. Let me see. And some of the pictures, it looks more purple, but I think it's meant to be like a really deep, pretty blue. Yeah, it's definitely a very deep blue with white. So that's actually a really good match already. Um, but I have a few more. Sorry, I forgot I had this in this room. Uh, okay, but never mind, never mind. That's, that's not what we're here for. Um, this is cute too, but no, 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 go to, go to what you literally just downloaded, you dumb. Uh, I found this one, and it has like a cape over the shoulders. It doesn't have fur. Uh, it's super... She could be like slightly more modern and like updated, you know. I'm kind of just going for very a loose look. I found this, which is really pretty, and it does come in blue. I don't like the gloves though. Mm. Okay, so this is actually a Mrs. Claus outfit, and it does come in blue. I kind of just like the white though. That's a really good candidate. It doesn't have a hood because hers has a hood in the back, which, you know, makes sense because she's in the freaking South Pole and it's cold as shit. But I also have this. Don't ask why, I just thought it was pretty. Wow, look at her. Damn. Her ass looking huge and that boy. Um, <laughs> but I feel like that might be our best choice. Let me, let me just explore a bit more. Okay, I think this, sorry, I got a hair in my mouth. This is going to be our best bet because it has the fur at the bottom and the furs around the neck. It doesn't have anything on the shoulders, but I think this is really good. It's kind of hilarious because it's a Mrs. Claus dress, but you know, uh, I don't know what kind of shoes she wears. I'm going to like imagine she wears boots. I don't think you can even like, her shoes at all so we're kind of off on the length but honestly this is this is pretty damn freaking good so I might have some really like fun boots to give her those look good y'all I shouldn't be popping off this hard uh, those might be a bit too modern looking Definitely don't know if I want to give her a heel. That would just freeze her feet off. I think I want to go with the first ones I put on. Where are they? Oh my gosh. Oh. Not gonna lie guys, I think I've done pretty well. Uh, her hair does kind of clip through this, but that's okay. I feel like I should give her like really big pretty earrings. So, because she actually wears, like, I don't know if they're, like, they're, like, um, hair things that, like, connect to her braids at the front, and they're, they hide her ears, so, 
I wonder if I could, if I go to hats, if I have anything, because she also has like a cup around the things in her hair, a cup, a cuff, uh, not a bow, it needs to go on the front, this doesn't work with this hair, that's sad, um, I have this, but I don't want to do that to her. Okay, but like that kind of works. I could also give her like a circlet or crown, but like that, that kind of works. What color should I give her? Let's see. It's a light blue in this, but I think I'll go with like a dark one just to add contrast. Y'all, my CC surprises my, surprising myself. Oh, those would be cute if only they weren't so broken. <sighs> Sad times. Or I could do that, but I feel like that's pretty damn good. So, okay, earrings. Sorry, sorry. I got sidetracked, but big and blue earrings. So I have... Okay, but like... Why is my CC surprising me so much with what I have? This is kind of amazing. I also have, um, like one of these ear things. I saw them and I thought they were cool, but... Damn, I really popped off. I think that... Y'all! That is pretty damn good for Princess Yue with what I have on hand. I popped off. Um, I'm kind of looking at her face right now and I feel like I kind of do want to give her a bit more of a texture skin just because then I can make her a bit more realistic. Yeah, there we go. Yo! I'm, on, I'm trying to look to see if she has anything on her hands, like rings. Because if she does, I could try to do something like that. I don't like those nails. Never mind. Okay, let's do her aspiration. So, if you've seen Avatar, you know what happens to her. But I feel like, because of what happened, you know, between her spoiler alert Sokka I think she wants to find her soulmate uh hands down oh, hands down I think she is good there's no way she isn't good um I feel like she's also very cheerful and I think she's very self-assured because she really believes in herself and is very confident in her abilities to like rule and whatnot as a princess. So I think I'm gonna go with self-assured. Now I know I didn't do any of her other outfits. I'll probably just like make them all the same, but I think I'm done. Look how cute she is. I'm really, really surprised with myself. This went so much better than I thought it would. Look how cute she is. I feel like um, some people might not be happy with it only because, um, you know, she's not exactly like identical, but I feel like this really, this really turned out pretty frack frack lack and well. I'm very, I'm very happy with myself. Look how cute she is. I'm very proud of myself with what I have done. Like it looks, she looks amazing. I'm very proud of myself. But uh, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, if you guys actually want me to make like the rest of the characters from like Avatar, Please let me know because I actually really enjoyed this and if you guys have like CC links you want to give to make Princess UA look more, you know, like herself, please, please let me 
like put links in the comments and stuff but uh anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a good rest of your day i think i'm going to post another video on christmas day so wait for that or you know 25th if you don't celebrate christmas but um thank you guys so much for watching happy holidays and i'll see you in the next video i'm bumblebee storyteller and i out pc pc peace guys <laughs>